Hello. Yesterday I extended my swell an additional 22 feet in that direction. This brought me a bit closer to the road. That's where I started. This is where I ended up. So instead of taking this that direction towards the road, I went up and I dug a little channel here towards the road that way, which is uphill from this location. I'm thinking that when we get a decent rain, this ditch is gonna fill up somewhat and the overflow will come into this channel this way downhill and I've got a little sill here that's going to let it overflow into that in theory uh, I actually need a big rain so that I can test this out I started off a bit small here I didn't want to overdo it I didn't want to bring in so much water onto my land that I caused problems so I'm just starting out small uh, let me take you up here to let you see what it looks like. Just a very narrow channel here. And it just terminates here. I scraped away this a little bit to bring that down somewhat. All right, so we'll see when we get a decent rain um, how this performs. On the other end of the swell, today I extended that direction another 31 feet. Tossed a buffalo gourd in here. We'll see if that grows. It's a native. I left this tree here in the center actually didn't run into any roots all the way down so I think it'll be all right there it's a mesquite tree and then it stops right here where I've got another wood chip trail going that direction I'll probably build another bridge here and dig this out and just keep going that way wherever the contour goes um, as far as I can to the next fence. Then I'll have the swell extending all the way across my property. I think that'll maximize the effectiveness of it. And then any rain coming downhill this way is gonna find its way into that trench. I'll continue to work on this, but right now I'm kind of waiting on a big rain so that I know uh, what modifications I need to make. What I hope to see after a couple of years here is for all of this to get a lot greener, more lush, what you're doing here is concentrating rain in this one spot. So any plants in this vicinity, they're going to benefit from that extra rain that's right here. It's essentially multiplying the amount of rain that you get up here by, you know, that much. So say I got an inch of rain up here. This is eight inches here. So that's like eight inches of rain with every inch of rain that we receive. That's assuming that these swells will get filled up. So we get about 23 inches of rain a year. Let's say, I'm not going to say multiply 23 times eight because that's not going to be accurate because sometimes we get, you know, a tiny bit of rain um, and it's not going to fill this up. But let's say double 23. So that's uh, 46 inches. So 46 inches of rain in this area should transform this space into a much greener area. Right now these are arid plants, cactus, mesquite trees. They don't require much water. You start pumping in extra water here, you're going to see much more vegetation, I would think. You may even start to see cactus die off because they're not meant to sit in water. As time progresses, I'll see how this evolves and I'll start planting deer resistant plants in here. Um, hopefully maybe fruit bearing plants uh, so that I can start getting some free food out of this swell. Those are my long-term hopes for this swell. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll do my best to continue to keep you posted on this. Thanks for watching.